All right, so in this video, I'm gonna run through the five steps that you need in order to actually start a 3D printing side hustle from your college dorm room. All right, so the very first step, you need to find a model or you need to create one. Either one is good. If you are finding a model, you need to make sure that it is either a commercial use model that you can license or a Creative Commons that is allowed for commercial use. Those are two different things. If you do are not able to find those or you're not able to pay for like the, the subscription to have those each month, then you can design your own models. There are AI tools that you can have generate 3D models that can be 3D printable, or you can learn CAD yourself and use ChatGPT to help prompt OpenSCAD or something like that. So those are ways of creating models. Pick in what is a good model that is totally up to you focus on your interests what do you like what do you need look around your room and say what do you need in this space and then find or create that thing if you find it then that's great and you're ready to roll if you need to create it you'll need to learn a few more tools next step once you have those models you need to get some prints and you need to take some photos now you can get photos generated by ai and we have another video talking about that but you can just it's not that hard to get the print of it you can create a portal real fast you can upload it to portals and then have a print sent to you it costs like five or ten bucks it's not that big of a deal but then you can take pictures and you have demonstrable products for the next step coming up in step four but get some photos of the items now you're ready for product listings okay so you want to print these items and you need to have them listed you probably don't want to run a print farm inside of your dorm room your roommate won't like it very much and you don't have room for 10 or 12 machines so use a service like portals number one it'll help you because it'll make sure that you're pricing your items appropriately and it's totally passive. If you upload a file to portals and start selling the prints, the prints are printed and shipped directly to the customer for you and returns and processing are all handled for you as well. So you don't have all those parts of the business. You can just focus on designing new things and growing your following so that you can sell more of the stuff, but you don't have to worry about the logistics. And when you're limited to the space of a 10 by 10 room, uh, 15 by 15 room, then it can be really important to have that extra resource. Portals you can check out over at slantpod.com. And again, they're really fast. They're really easy. They take care of payment processing, a storefront. You upload the file, you get a link to the product listing. And then the product listing can go into step number four. In step number four, you want to create 10 videos of every single item that you are listing. 10 videos for TikTok. This can be a smartphone looking at the thing. And the script to these videos is this. Hey guys, here is this thing. I made it for this. I am working out of my dorm room and I'm trying to grow a 3D printing business. That is the script. That is the thing that you say. What it is, why it's useful, why you made it, and who you are. Those are the things that you need in each one of those videos. And you're gonna make that 10 different ways. Try in a different style, maybe a selfie video, maybe just there. Animate the thing, make it a puppet, I don't care. Do something 10 different ways, and then find the video that does the best, and then do that version of the video 10 different ways. And this is how you're gonna promote it. You're gonna use TikTok in order to get these grown because TikTok lets you create a lot of this video so you can knock out those 10 in a day if you want to. And then you'll go from there. And now step number five, and step number five is the most important. You are going to have to work hard for a period of time. This is not all going to come automatically and you are going to have to listen to your customers. You are starting a business, even as a side hustle that is passive. You are going to have to be engaged and you're going to have to listen to your customers. If somebody buys one of your things, you are gonna email that person, you're gonna say, what do you like, what do you hate, everything else, and then you're gonna take it all back to the beginning and adjust and move forward. 3D printing lets you create something unique and change it and move it over time, but everything else is on you to listen to your customers, make sure that your products are getting better. Have a great day, everybody.